Hi, this is Hannah Smith for Bass City Beat. We're right here in downtown Mount Clements. We're kicking off the Super Bowl weekend with the seventh annual Chili Cook-Off fundraiser. This is part of our uh, seventh annual Fire and Ice Chili Cook-Off, and it's a fundraiser that we've had uh, as part of our first Super Bowl event uh, in 2006, we hosted the uh, Super Bowl Super City event, and this is one of the events and has continued to go on. Participants traveled around downtown Mount Clemens to have a taste of what 10 local restaurants had to offer as the chili cook-off heated up. At the end of the night, participants decided which chili really sparked their appetite as they chose the winner of this year's cook-off. I think it's a wonderful, people enjoy going out and having fun together and it's also a way for people to walk around and see new, new places of business that they've never been in before. So I think that's a, that's a wonderful part of the whole event. So what makes a good chili? A good chili, we like here, just enough spice, cook over a period of time and fresh ground brisket makes uh, our chili, we think, the best. So what do you think makes a good chili? Knowing how to make chili. Uh, I think it's got uh, a lot of meat, uh, medium spice, um, something you can eat, neat, neat. The hamburger, the sauce, green peppers, jalapeno peppers, spice, thickness, um, beans. Yeah, <laughs> beans. A little bit of habaneros. Gotta start with the good beans. Um, not greasy, a lot of vegetables, kind of chunky. I'm gonna have to say the hot sauce. Um, I think, you know, just the right amount of spice. Too much spice, then it's, you know, you don't want to eat uh, too much of it, and then if there's not enough, it's pretty bland. So what have you thought of the chili that you've tasted so far? Delicious. Uh, I'm not saying who I'm voting for <laughs> yet, because we haven't tasted all of the, all of the chilies, but uh, I love chili, and, you know, I haven't had a, a bad one yet. They have all been really good. The winner receives a beautiful crown uh, that was knit by uh, City Knits of Mount Clemens, uh, Karen Kendrick Hands, it's a, and it's a wonderful knit crown and bragging rights for the whole year. With kicking off the weekend with the chili cook-off, we decided to ask participants to weigh in on who they thought would get the big win for Sunday's game. I, I got the Patriots. Tom Brady's going to go all the way. I was hoping for the Lions, but uh, you know, apparently that's not going to happen. <laughs> Uh, New York Giants. The Patriots are going to win. They have Tom Brady. <laughs> He's cute. <laughs> I think the Giants are going to smash him. It's over. I hope my football square wins. Hopefully the Giants maybe this time. Whatever keeps him happy. <laughs> Since Detroit's hosting of the Super Bowl in 2006, the Chili Cook-Off is raised nearly $18,000 for its beneficiaries. If you missed a good chili of this year, be sure to stop by next year for the 8th annual Chili Cook-Off. For Bass City Beat, I'm Hannah Smith.